State troopers suspect alcohol was a factor in a car crash that sent five people to the hospital. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lee Conklin. Diane is off tonight. It happened just before 9 o'clock in Wood County on Lucky Road, just south of US 20. Our Christine Long is live outside Mercy St. V's with the story. Christine. Lee, investigators are not yet releasing the names of the victims, but they say all five people in the vehicle were transported here to St. V's in serious condition. The tow truck crew is having a hard time pulling this Ford Explorer out of the drainage ditch around this very narrow lucky road just south of Route 20. Highway Patrol says it appears the vehicle swerved off the road, hit the concrete embankment on the bridge, proceeded to roll back on the road and flip 25 yards into this ditch. Three of them were ejected and two of them were trapped in the vehicle when the uh, fire crew came here. And, uh, they arrived on scene. He says the three who were ejected probably were not wearing their seat belts. Uh, it didn't appear to be a family. It appeared to be a, a group of um, uh, maybe some, uh, adults in their 20s, maybe a little bit younger. We're not exactly sure. Emergency crews transported all five people to St. V's. As this investigation continues, Highway Patrol officials suspect drunk driving. Yeah, we do suspect alcohol is involved. We are investigating that to uh, determine whether or not that is a factor. Investigators do not believe the weather was a factor in this crash. However, they warn all drivers should be extra cautious on these roads. The wind picks up and you do have snow on the ground still. So you could be driving a perfectly dry roadway and then out of the blue, all of a sudden you have a little bit of ice and snow right there and you know people start to lose control there. So it's, it's always good to watch out. No other vehicles were involved in tonight's crash. The cause remains under investigation. Again, all five people in that vehicle were transported here to St. V's in serious condition. Reporting live from St. V's in Toledo, Christine Long, 13 ABC Action News.